you see yourself? I can. Wow, thank God. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Sydney. I hope this finds you well. Hey! Sid Eves. Eves me. Eves. I mean Eves. This is Eves, my lovely roommate. And we're just here to, you know, spread some love. I hope this finds you well. Encouragement. Um. Today we're going to talk about <laughs> confidence. Yeah. Um, I feel that, like. <laughs> just look at me now. <laughs> I feel that. Um, People sometimes can confuse confidence with arrogance or um, cockiness because it's such a not normal thing, especially in this day and age, to have faith in yourself mm -hmm. and to believe in yourself because everyone wants to, you know, cry out, cry out, woe is me. And, you know, it's almost like it's cool to not like what you do and like who you are. And I think we should work on changing that because there is something really beautiful about uh, loving yourself and loving who you are because that helps you love other people. Um, and I feel that like it's genuinely hard sometimes to like really care for someone if you don't care for yourself. Because say for instance like you weren't very caring of your own self it would be really hard for you to care for someone who's in, you know, a tough situation where, you know, someone who's dealing with sexual abuse or someone who's dealing with problems in the workplace or someone who's dealing with suicidal thoughts, you know, you're, you're able to care for that person, like, almost stronger because you care for yourself and, like, I feel like someone who cares for themselves knows how to care about people. And that's where confidence comes in because yeah. there is nothing wrong with loving who you are there's nothing wrong with loving your face loving your body mm -hmm. or you know just loving your flaws or the weird things that make you you maybe you only eat the chips at the bottom of the back mm. maybe you only eat <laughs> you know <laughs> maybe you only, <laughs> maybe like you don't like your photo being taken um for whatever reason maybe you don't like sandwiches all those weird you know small little kinks are what makes you you and you should love those things about yourself you should love the fact that you're different or the fact that you're not like everyone else because own that own the fact that you are your own person i mean have you always felt that way about yourself though have absolutely you always... not <laughs> so how did you love the person that you are because you know Honestly, I would say, like, you know, not to, like, make it, like, super, like, woo, hallelujah. Why not? Um, <laughs> I didn't really start feeling this way, honestly, until I got saved and, um, you know, God put this love in my heart for me that I never had before. And before then, you know, I was searching for, you know, like, validation and uh, acceptance in all the wrong places from all the wrong people. And I feel like sometimes we base all of our decisions and all of our choices off of what people think and not what we think and you know if you like something do it you know not everyone's gonna like it and that's a good thing because everyone like is not gonna like you everyone is not gonna be your best friend everyone's not gonna want to take a sip of you if you were tea wow that was good yeah for all of your followers and you know people that love you that will probably watch this. What do you want them to know outside of, you know, confidence and everything? Love people. It's very hard to, um, because loving so also loving someone doesn't mean you trust them. Mm, loving someone does not mean you trust them. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of times people can confuse the two, um, because there's people that I love dearly with my heart, would do anything for them, but I unfortunately don't trust their intentions sometimes, because you know, I have a lot of friends um, who are still addicts and recovering addicts, um, but I love them so much, but because of, you know, the situation, it's just really hard, but you can definitely love people, um, and I feel like Loving someone or like being kind to someone is effortless 
Um, you don't have to lift a muscle. You don't have to loan anything except for your a portion of your heart at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and be kind to that person. Because you just never know what someone's going through or what someone's dealing with. Yeah. And I feel that... Um, I feel like some people think that like loving people kind of like takes away right like, like saying that you're beautiful takes away from my beauty like it's right it's almost that same sort of thing with love right I mean I've met someone and like spoken to them for like an hour and like walked away from the conversation and be like I love this person or I've known someone for like a year and been like like you know acquaintance like surface level but yeah I feel like it doesn't really take away I feel like if anything it it gives like you're like you like loving someone is like a form of giving it's a form of like I don't want to say the word charity um even though I just said the word charity but it's like to me it's like a form of giving like loving someone is like giving like being a giving person because some people just don't love at all or are afraid to love Ooh. For whatever reason that may be. <laughs> that touched you? Yeah. <laughs> um, for whatever reason that may be. Um, also, this might just sound like total rambling because we literally just sat down and started. <laughs> right, there's no structure to this. Thing. At all. At all. It's like literally like putting Lego blocks and saying build it and trying to say building. Like, we're going to start. Right. Well, this is just us so right might as well but yeah I feel that you know it's very easy to say all the things that I just said but the real step comes in actually doing it and taking action and like you know making the steps to uh, do these things so give them a couple tips um ease tips I would say I honestly know what. the first thing that like in terms of confidence is, you know, it sounds really cheesy, but standing in the mirror, whether it's naked or clothed, and finding one thing you like, and going from there and being like, oh, I like this. Like, I was like, so, I remember growing up, I hated my lips, I hated my mouth so much, because, you know, I have really big lips, and like, when I, the area I was at, I was made fun of it, like, I was made fun of for it, like, all the time. And so, whenever I was in school pictures, I would do this whole thing. <laughs> or I would smile, but when I smile, my eyes get, like, super small. Um, and I would just, I just hated everything about my mouth. But then, like, one day, I looked in the mirror, and I was like, you know what? Like, I, I'm going to learn to like this. I'm going to start to like this. So, I started complimenting other people's lips. <laughs> and, like... And they were like my mom's friends. They'd be like, "Hey, like, I like your lipstick," or like, "Hey, like, you know, you have a nice smile." And like, the more I complimented people on a feature I didn't like on myself, the more I started to like the feature. Oh, that's good. And now I love my freaking mouth. I love people love big lips so much now that they are making their small lips big. Mm -hmm. Um. But do what you want, live your life. Um, but yeah, it was just, I just saw a feature that I didn't like, and so I started complimenting people um, on this feature that I didn't fancy myself, and seeing how they reacted to it, and seeing them smile, and like, being thrown off guard, like, ooh, just made me feel like, maybe like, mine aren't so bad. And, yeah. That's good. So that's a good way <clears throat> to start. And also, a harder, route I would say is responding to hatred with kindness and that's if you know someone says something negative or mean to you I start responding with I love you or have a good day because people get so confused especially like in pop culture and like our society like the youth like or like young adults um people just expect you to be a hard ass all the time especially living in the U.S. it's okay <laughs> <laughs> um, especially like living, uh, you know, in like a tougher city or like working in a certain field, you know, people expect you to be uh, a certain way. Um, so whenever you're kind, people are like really thrown off. You know, I get told like negative things, but I, I personally, this is me telling you that I struggle sometimes with uh, responding uh, too sarcastically and not taking into account that like 
is an actual person saying these things. Um, so something I'm working on that I still do work on is just responding with, I love you, or uh, have a good day, or someone's like, oh, I hate your tattoos. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful too. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Or someone is like, you know, just saying anything that's really negative or mean, whether it's something that I'm wearing or something that like, they don't agree with. I'm just like, I love you too. Because I mean, it's, it's completely, I feel uh, stupid to think that every single person on earth is gonna agree with what you believe in and what you're saying. And I feel like having that is a part of what uh, creates uh, revolutionists and rebels um, in a good way because it gives us something to fight for and something to be working towards because I feel like working towards something uh, builds character. I just shook the camera. This is not an earthquake. Um, we live in New York. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like uh, a lot of um, tough times and dealing with uh, you know people saying negative things to you and responding to those things with kindness uh, builds character. <laughs> it's candy. Um, builds character, not candy. <laughs> Bill's candy. Bill's candy. How many likes should we get? What do you mean, likes? Like thumbs up? Yeah, Ooh. thumbs up. Uh, ten. Ten. That's doable. Ten. Um, ten thumbs up for a part two. Yeah. Follow Sydney on Instagram because she's <laughs> so pretty. What? Yeah. Follow her on Instagram. Like her photos. Comment heart eyes on them. Don't creep on her though. Because I will call the cops. Ooh. The the right cops. I mean, we live in America. So. Oh. Thank you for being in my video. Thank you for putting me in the video. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Ten thumbs up for part two, and we can talk about anything. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. And we hope that you have an amazing, blessed week. And we love you. Take care. God bless. Thank you for watching Disney Channel. Bye. <laughs> this is Sydney, and you're watching Disney Channel.